assets in Frame are things that you can upload and place in the environment yourself, like images, audio, video, 3D models, PDFs and even 360 images. There are two ways of importing these assets. The first way is mostly used when you use an asset only once. So for instance, when you have an image that you want to place on a board or wall, you can import it by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom of your screen. If you do not see a plus, this means that you are in an environment that is not yours and is not open to add new assets by others. So you click on the plus and click on image. Now you can drag and drop the image or select it from your files. So I drag and drop a logo and within a few seconds it's placed in the environment. I can walk around it so you see it's there. If you want to delete the asset from this place, you can right click on it and then at the left window scroll down until you see the delete asset button. Just click on it and it's gone. How to place and arrange all the different kinds of assets in frame is explained in some other videos. By placing the asset directly in the environment using the plus button, this asset will not be in your inventory. So if you need to place the same logo again somewhere, you have to use the plus and upload the logo again. So if you have images or other assets that you will use several times, like a logo, it is better to use your personal inventory. Your personal inventory can be found in the settings. So you open the settings using the icon in the right upper corner and you select the inventory tab. Next you see a list of categories and above that it says add to inventory. If you click on that you will see what kind of assets you can upload yourself. Images, 360 photos, 360 video, PDF, video, audio and 3D models. Uploading to the inventory is simple. So when I want to upload the logo to my inventory, I click add image, drag and drop it and there it will be in my inventory. From here I can place this image in the environment by clicking on the little plus behind the name. This way I only have to upload it once and I can use it multiple times. Be sure that you do not have very long names for the assets when you upload them because it won't show the complete file name. One more thing, the asset library you see, the first one in the list, is a bunch of pre-made 3D objects from frame that you can use in your environment. Well, that's all about assets and your inventory. In another video we'll explain how you can place, move and resize the assets.